I've set him off with a project to keep him quiet, you know, like you do with children that don't want to be somewhere, you get them busy. Some people would say I planted too many courgettes, and you might be right. Let's go. Salt on chips, salt on chips. You've got to be a one bullet in allotment. Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. Clocks went forward. Afternoon. It is Easter Sunday and we're at the plot. Sam's really happy that we're spending our Easter Sunday here. It is not. Um, <laughs> put the mic on. Yeah, we're at the plot. Got my spring colour jumper on. It's got dinosaurs on. Please appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we're going to do a few bits today. First of all, things have grown. Things are growing. Things are growing. Carrots are growing. I will show you. Um, if you're new, by the way, this is our allotment. It's a full-size plot in North Derbyshire, South Yorkshire, in the middle bit. And uh, this is our first proper year. We got our plot in July, August 2023, so we didn't have a full growing season. So we've done a lot of renovating, as you can see. Um, and yeah follow along subscribe follow along on our little journey i'll link the playlist from the beginning if you want to watch from literally day one we filmed the whole thing to how we've got here and now it's the fun bit now it's time to plant and grow started at weeds now we're here <laughs> started at the boggy soil mess and now we're here sam's here sam is my other half partner life. i'm in this week's edition <laughs> is he here i thought he was good so I've set him off with a project to keep him quiet, you know, like you do with children that don't want to be somewhere, you get them busy. <laughs> I've tasked him, we've collected today some more pallets. Um, someone, my mum was uh, getting rid of them out of her business and I was like, do not chuck them in the skip, give them to me. So I've tasked Sam with making me, oh God, I can't watch it. Oh God, making me some flower beds out of some of the pallet wood. So that's what he's going to get on with. We've also got the um, bathtub at the back, which when we came for our 1,000 subscriber special, we had a few minutes uh, while we waited for a lift because yeah. <laughs> we were drunk, we couldn't drive home. Um, we cleared that out. So I can put some soil and some herbs in there now. So that's the main things. But first of all, let's update on how the seeds are going because I tell you what, we've got some carrots. We've got some carrots. I do not like watching you do that. That makes me feel very uncomfortable, Sam. I feel like you should be wearing a hard hat or something. Look, I mean, they're not thinly spread, are they? But they are carrots. So <laughs> I'm not sure why some rows have come up and some haven't. I don't know. But we're going to cover them back up, keep them nice and warm and toasty. What this fleece is doing as well, it's also keeping them damp because carrot seeds can't be dry. If they dry out, they won't germinate. So this is also keeping them warm and damp. Let's check everything else. Parsnips. I think anything that's growing is just a weed, to be honest. Because um, <laughs> I know parsnips are quite slow to germinate, so I'm not expecting anything from them yet. We're still waiting for you, parsnips. You take your time. Beetroot. Um, nothing. Nothing yet. What are you? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Patience. I will be patient. Patience. Okay. I know there's stuff growing in the greenhouse as well. I'll give you an update on that. And you'll be pleased to know, I think my slug, touch wood, I think my slug defences are working. My slugs, the slugs haven't eaten them yet. I'm sure the time will come. But as of right now, my sweet peas are still alive and thriving. Wonderful. Over in our wonderful, wonderful, nice, warm and toasty greenhouse. <laughs> We've got more squash germinated. Someone did remind me that I need to take the lids off these when they germinate, and I do know that, but the reason I kept it on was because um, I wanted to keep some moisture in while I couldn't get to water, and it's worked. I think I'll give them the water today, and then I'll come maybe again tomorrow, but definitely again this week to give them another water. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of squash coming up, a pumpkin, a Big Max, Fat Max pumpkin. That's what I'm excited for. And some courgettes. Oh, he's joining me, is he? Oh. Sam's so showing off his potting bench to his family. It was just complimented by my mum and stepdad who came to uh, help us drop off the pallets. So well done, Sam. It's a fly. 
And then here we have got a rogue brassica, <laughs> some spinach, chard, kale. It's been a bit of spotty germination, but uh, pak choy, spinach. That's germinated really well, but then the romaine's done absolutely nothing, so I might have to replant that. And then more spinach, salad leaves, and lettuce. So I'll water these. These, oh god, these are dry as a bone. If those are good water. And then these are the plug plants. I need to get them in the ground. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll chance it. Yeah, I just bought these just in case mine didn't germinate. And I need to give this a water as well. But this is the herbs. It was very, very sunny yesterday. So everything's a little bit dry. But that's how we're getting on. That's everything we've got planted. We've got the potatoes back there in the bags. But um, they've not sprouted as of yet. But that is the update on how things are going. I'm very excited for the squash. So excited. Some people would say I planted too many courgettes and you might be right. <laughs> but I love courgettes. I know I'll not love them at the end of the season but I actually really love courgettes. So yes I think first job, just do a nice easy job, is we'll go and do this uh, bathtub planter because all I've got to do there is fill it with compost. That's a nice easy job. Oh another thing, while we were wombling the uh, pallets we also got some more planks of wood and my mum found me two of these which I think will be good for either little bird feeders or I don't know what else could we put on these birds bird feeders don't know but they were they looked like they should go on an allotment so I took them <laughs> so this is the bathtub I'm on about obviously you can see we've done the carrot tub and we're just going to do the exact same I think I need to drill some holes although this has got some holes just from being broken and um, we'll lift these bags out um sam just put them in there to weigh the bathtub down while uh, while we weren't here we'll fill it with some compost and i'll put my i've got some ready planted herbs there <laughs> i've got some cuttings at home and we've obviously got the ones in the greenhouse that should hopefully germinate at some point and i can put in so yeah let's get that sorted No, by the way, when you take on an allotment plot in the UK at least, or at least most allotment plots I've seen, um, check the microphone on. Yes. <laughs> um, when you get your plot, you get to well, it's either a blessing or a curse. You keep all of the stuff that's already on the site. So for us, that means we've got the shed and the water butts, which is great, and there are actually quite a lot of useful things in the shed. But it also means we've got these bathtubs that are on the site and all the rubbish that was in them, you know. So you have to take the rough with the smooth a little bit and try and repurpose. And would I choose to have bathtub planters? Probably not. It's not really my aesthetic. However, we've got them. So instead of tipping them and them going to a landfill, we'll make good use of them. We'll turn them into some sort of planter and make it useful. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm not just chucking them in a skip or whatever. I'm trying to be good for the environment and reused. I can't get it up the slab. We discovered that those bags were just full of sand, so we can't even put it on the compost. Wonderful. Anyway, I think I said that this is getting shot. Microphone on? Yes. <laughs> um, I think I said that this has already got some holes where, like, 
the bottom of the bath is just broken. So I'm only going to put a couple more drill holes in. Let's go. I don't really like using the drill. It scares me. These are the herbs I got. I just got these from Lidl. I think they were like three pounds or something. And what's in here? Thyme, rosemary, and oregano. So some classics. I think they're hardy, so I shouldn't have to plant them year on year. They should just be fine. Oh, lovely. Love fresh compost. Get these bad boys in. Perfect. And then I will add more herbs to that as and when I get more herbs <laughs> or they grow. <laughs> um, yeah, that's been a job on the list for a while, so I'm glad that's done now. <laughs> Sam's getting on with his uh, task. Did I say what it was? I just want some uh, flower planters to go along the side of the shed. Those pallets obviously won't be there. <laughs> and we've got this like space that I think would look nice for flowers growing up, zinnias or cosmos or quite tall flowers. I think they would look really nice over there. So that's what I've tasked Sam with. He's doing a good job as always with his little DIYs. I am going to just get on with a little bit of weeding because it's getting a little bit out of then it's getting a little bit out of hand <laughs> in some places. Our onion bed is getting a little bit a little bit weedy, so you've got to weed. I'm sorry, I know it's boring, but you have got to do it, otherwise your plot goes mental and uh, yeah, gotta weed. This little contraption, I've spoke about it before. I did have one from Timu and it broke. So I got a new one from Amazon. And it's so useful. We've got a big hoe, Dutch hoe, but when you've got stuff already planted, like these tulips and stuff, I don't want to disturb them. So this is super useful for just weeding around them. So I always link, if I talk about anything, <laughs> um, I always link it below. So it'll be in the description if you're interested oh everyone's gonna moan at me for not putting my hair up again look bubble <laughs> there you go shut up hairs up <laughs> the amount of comments honestly no one tells you to put your hair up do they sam <laughs> things I want to plant we're gonna get off soon because as I said it's Easter Sunday and I'm cooking a Sunday dinner so <laughs> we need to get home fairly soon to put the beef in um, but a couple of things I'm gonna plant some radish straight in the ground I think I said I was gonna do this when I planted the beetroot but then I never did so <laughs> plant some radish straight in the ground and then I've got a couple of things that I'll sow in the greenhouse oh and um, Sam's done me flowers I know I'm not being very talkative today guys but to be honest I've not felt very talkative Talking to the mic, you're not mic'd up. 
I know I'm not being very talkative to you guys, but I'm not. It's been grumpy. Yeah, you could say so. I've enjoyed my solitude and peace. But well, yeah. I've built a thing. I built me a little, little flower flower bed patch. What do you jig? What do you do? Well, we're gonna, I'm going to need to it up now. Yeah, we're going to line it with compost bags as well. Um, potentially could go deeper if we wanted, but thank you, Sam. Love you. We could go deeper. Uh, Love you. I love all of you. <laughs> Not as much as me, though. Get your hands off. So I'm going to do the radish. Can you even see me? We'd have to bend like this to talk to you. Do the radish <laughs> next to the beetroot. I don't know where I planted that. So let's just do it here. Let's just do it in this little patch. I actually don't like radish. Or I didn't like the radish that was planted last time. But this is a different variety. I described the uh, radish that we grew last time as spicy dirt because that's exactly what it tasted like. Maybe this will be better. Just a small section of radish this time. I should get the spade. I know I should get the spade but I don't want to get the spade so <laughs> this is what we're doing. <laughs> Deal with it. Right like you're sprinkling on chips Emma. Like you're sprinkling on chips. Salt on chips, salt on chips. Yeah? Is it done? Oh, lovely. Wonderful. I'm just growing some radish that we love and enjoy and ate loads of last year. Do you remember? I love radish. Yeah. Right, radishes. I've run out of lollipop sticks, so I'm just going to have to remember that you're there. Remind me if I try and plant something in this bed that there's radishes in here. <laughs> right, got a couple of things to plant in the greenhouse. So I want to plant some cucumber. This is an outdoor cucumber. Um, it is a robust and early outdoor cucumber. And I can plant it, I don't know. What's five, six? June? Oh no, that's harvest June. Plant it in April and it's April tomorrow. So I'm going to plant this while I'm here. And then I've also got some Cavallo Nero. Have I planted this? Yes, but it's not come up very much. So I'm going to plant some more of this because this is rabbit's favourite. We've got pet rabbits, if you don't know, and they love kale. Well, pet rabbit, RIP Luna. Um, some dill and some coriander that I'm just going to put in a pot and see sprinkle in a pot and see how we get on there that is the plan for the final job of the day i'll do a couple of couple of pots of things right let's go are you, are you plugged in are you plugged in right let's do what are you don't know gone don't know how much oh bro. i've not got enough body mix <sighs> God, that is dry as a bone anyway, that needs... Right, let's sort some compost out. Right, that's better. Compost. I still don't know if this will be enough because it's just what was left of the bag, so we'll just fill up as many as we can. <laughs> Sam found it was uh, helping his brother. We took it off his shed. Yeah, it's helping his brother do his garden and he took it off his shed that they were demolishing. What are we putting that? Are we putting it on the shed for the birds? Yeah. We're going to put a bird feeder on it. That's the plan at some point. I'm just, it'll be pleased to I'm just doing these seeds and then we can go out. Have some dinner. I'll put this up. Wonderful. See, reuse. We've recycled loads of stuff today, haven't we? You've got to be a womble at an allotment. You've got to be a womble.
and to put our little chicken up. It's quite cute, actually. Um, we're going to hang a bird feeder on that. We have got one, we've just not got any bird feed for it at the moment. And he's tidied up my little planter. Lovely. Beautiful. And, oh, Sam, you've stolen a job. I was going to say last job of the day was to plant this little guy with the carrots, but he's already gone and done it. So, yes, this is the pot. It's looking a little bit tidier um, of weeds on this side, not so much that side. Um, obviously, the tulips are still coming. I am absolutely loving tulips. I can't believe how many have come up and how beautiful they are. And I sort of don't want them to, to die. I don't want them to, <laughs> to stop flowering. Um, but yeah, that is it so far. So, just taking my hair down. <laughs> so, I think we can call that a day. Sam stops faffing about. Sam's been faffing looking at where we can put tool hooks and stuff in the shed. The shed needs a tidy, but that's a whole day in itself. Um, but yeah, this is the plot. It's looking fantastic. I am so excited, especially now we've actually got things growing. Now the carrots are starting to come up. Now, you know, I have shown the people the carrots, yes, Samuel. Um, yeah, and everything at home is still growing really well. I've got all the flowers going at home and they're doing really, really well. So, yeah, that is it for today. Spring. I don't know if you heard him, but Sam said he feels like he should be selling hot dogs and popcorn at uh, some sort of Event. sports event yeah. <laughs> but I think I said they're going to go at the side of the, the uh, shed there I'll move out your way darling I might even paint them pink I've got some paint left I want to paint them pink yellow we'll compromise me and some will compromise on a colour but yeah that's it that's today spring be springing spring be sprunging it's beautiful. Done some jobs that have been on the list for a while, like that bathtub. We've recycled loads of stuff today. And uh, yeah, do you want to say bye? Want to say bye to the people? Just talking to my chest. It's not weird. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Goodbye. See you next week. <laughs> we'll see Maybe. You. Probably you more than me. Yeah. We'll see you on the flip flop. Subscribe if you're not. Um, like the video and leave a comment on anything you think we should do with the plot we're sort of at a point now where we're just sort of wait we're waiting now waiting so if you can think of anything exciting we can do let us know you like to keep me out of shot here don't you i'm little you're six foot five you're the abnormal one shut up <laughs> i'm average height i am average height i'm five foot four and a half the half is important she says. anyway we're gonna go because i want my sunday dinner so we'll see you next time have a great gardening week yes. and uh yeah subscribe if you're not Thanks. see you next week bye <laughs>